I brought some, I brought some water as well because I'm not sure um, how wet I need it. So that's kind of the consistency I've got it to at the moment. So it's quite, it's a bit like, a bit like a buttercream consistency. So I'm hoping that that should be okay. If not, obviously I add more water to it or more, or more powder. Either way, we shall soon find out. So somewhere, and let's get cracking. Uh, hmm. So I've got one of these, which I'm going to try. I've never used one of these tools before. So let's give it a whirl. I think I'll use my spatula to fire some on. whether I wet the walls or not. Oops. Oh, I'm going to have to learn. This technique definitely. Okay, well. At least it stayed on the wall. it all out in a bit but you know you've got to just give these things a go aren't you Whiter, um, looks a bit like a, like a creamy colour. Sorry if I'm horribly offending any plasterers out there, but we all have to learn somehow, we all have to start somewhere. on the wall after I've finished with it. <laughs> Sandy texture. <sighs> Let me show you.
Well, I think it's definitely making the walls look smoother. It's fairly easy to use, although I'm getting a sweat on already. Uh, yeah, I think this will be okay. It's not a big room, so... getting there um, it's going on not sure my techniques quite, <laughs> quite right just yet but I'll uh, I'll keep trying I think it needs to be on a bit thicker down there I can see like the wall coming through and that's the worst part where all the bumps and lumps are here on this back wall so I'll probably go back over that again but uh, yeah I think once it's sponged I think it will look okay it will definitely be an improvement on what's already here so yeah okay excellent Right, so that's the first wall plastered. A bit tricky up at the top there, in between those beams, so I had to get the little spatula thing out and do it that way, but um, yeah, I'm feeling it's come out really, really well. Yeah, I obviously uh, it'll need a, I don't know, a rubbing down or whatever, just in little parts, but yeah, it's took really well, really nice to work with, and I just used the leftover bit on this wall just so I could show you like the, the difference. So once obviously that's all smoothed out, you get the, a much smoother finish like that, like a sandy effect, rather than that stipple. So yeah, it's definitely worth it. Not looking forward to doing the whole house like, but <laughs> one room at a time. Let's just focus on that. So there we go. That's today's work. And I'm tired. So fingers crossed. I'll see you tomorrow for the installation of the windows and the doors. If not, uh, yeah, that might be next week's video, so I'm going to tidy up now, lock up, get back to the farm. Bum dear, hope everybody's well this morning. Um, it's looking like it could be a, a nice day today, the last couple of days have been grotty, uh, hence I've been at the house doing the plastering. But um, yeah, today looks a lot better. We'll see, it's up very early. Um, I'm up and out early this morning because I'm gonna uh, go to the industrial zone. So um, Joaquin, my neighbor's gonna take me into Costello Branco and yeah, I can get stocked back up on the cement that's, um, yeah, that's gone off. Bit gutted about that really, but you know, our fault, we should, probably should have not put it in that other house. But yeah, live and learn. So I'm going to go and get stocked back up on the um, on the cement. Need to get plenty of compost um, because there's loads of things that I want to do around the farm. Getting spring ready with my planting. So yeah, and I want to make a start on that new little pond thing that I want to build. Well, not build, but you know, create. So yeah, compost is in need. So if the weather stays fine, I will just have a day at the farm.
I want some bumps to sponge out, but that's another wall done. Um, yeah, a bit of sponging down there. And I've got the top to sponge as well. So yeah, it's another wall done. On to the third. Like a magic eraser, it's great. Yeah, I think they're a bit too dry. Ah, oh, there we are. I don't know whether that's picking up on the camera or not. But... Oops. Very satisfying. So you know your lumps and bumps go, and your lines. Ugh. I'm still waiting for this um, rendery plastery stuff to go off up there, just so I can sponge the top. So I thought while I was waiting, I'll just. Um, get this finished off. So there's a few patches that need building up a little bit and then obviously I want to get rid of the daylight but it's gone really hard. I'm pleased with the how solid it is because that's definitely what it needed. Uh, so I'm hoping the wall doesn't fall down anytime soon now. Um, yeah, let's whack some of this in the hole and then I'll have a go from the other side as well. Made quite a stiff mix again, very strong. I've just done a one-to-one -one mix, one sand, one, ce one cement. Because it needs to be super strong. I think that's been a productive day so now I've got three walls plastered in that room the hole in the wall is fixed so that's the other side of the wall so <laughs> yeah I've not got um, daylight coming through anymore yeah sorry for the grainy footage so yeah all been sponged down today and a bit of a tidy up and I think I'm going to head off back to the farm yeah windows and doors didn't get done who knows whether it'll even be in next week's video. Just don't know. So, um, yeah, I'm going to head off back to the farm now. Looks like it's going to be a lovely evening. And um, I've got some garden beds to weed and also hmm, some seeds to sort out. I'll see you down there. And it springs again, again, again. Juliet from Amsterdam. Ch 
Chili, chili, chili. There are those. Then those. Glass. Oh, not grass. speed to the city streets we begin to feel the fire we rise like tall buildings as the chemicals they take us higher the night's young and it's just begun as she puts her hand in mine actually see what I've got growing now under there so there's quite a few bulbs coming up which is good news excellent what a good do yeah all right that's the fig tree let's do the olive trees <laughs> and this one is totally overtaken very pretty Some has been in here as well. Oh, what a right good root and rummage. What a shame. I hope it's not eating all my bulbs. Okay, a couple of bulbs there. go much tidier flower beds on this side I've salvaged those there to go in uh, the courtyard and uh, yeah I think everything's gonna have a chance to grow now which is good so I'm just gonna uh, have a look at the pear tree one Let's see what I can salvage from there tidy this up a little bit tripping over. tripping over back oh but how pretty does it look it looks beautiful That's the pear tree bed done, so that's looking a lot better. And I even found a tulip. 
lovely pink one there, purpley pink. Don't think I saw that last year. That's nice. And I'll actually see the daffodil or daffodils. So there's one there. Little crocuses, and again, I'm not really sure what them other things are. Uh, who knows? But yeah, it's looking a lot better. Right, let's go and see what's happening over there. I um, put a load of tulip bulbs over there. So hopefully they're coming up, but it needs a weeding. Right, let's see where we're up to then. So, um, I have weeded the flower beds. I've definitely bought the nut tree, although I've not planted it yet. I've bought the compost and I have started topping up. Um, I've replaced some of the plants, I've moved them. Um, I've still got to do the gate ones when I get some long ladders. Um, Weed the flower beds again because there were a few. So, yeah, I think there is quite a few things that I can colour in today. So, uh, I'll do that now. All right, here we go. On to the final, final wall of this little room. job done apart from last little bit of sponging that I need to do up there but yeah it just needs um, a little bit longer to dry and I'm really pleased with it uh, to say I've never done that before it's, it's on the walls it's like a brand new room again it's perfect look well the job's not perfect don't get me wrong but the finish I love it so if anybody's wanting um, you know to do any plastering but not kind of keen on a really soft smooth finish this is wonderful yeah, it leaves like a lovely sandy textured coating and I'm actually really liking the colour that it's dried. I mean, we'll obviously paint over it, but the colour's really nice. So if anybody's interested in the product, it's uh, this product here. So it's Roboco, um, Kamada Simples, white exterior, but it is, if you read the instructions, it can be used, obviously, interior as well. English instructions on the back and it gives a sanded finish there we go and it actually can be sprayed on but you know I'm using it with a trowel so there we go that's it 